Hi everyone. Topic for the day is simple muscle twitch recording in amphibian nerve muscle preparation. Now what is simple muscle twitch? Whenever a motor nerve is stimulated with an adequate amount of stimulus, the response produced in the muscle is in form of a brief contraction followed by relaxation. This response is known as simple muscle twitch. But point to be remembered here that the nerve is to be stimulated with an adequate level of stimulus. Stimulus can be a threshold stimulus which is just enough for the nerve to generate a response or it can be a maximal stimulus at which the nerve responds with its maximum capacity. So it's always better to utilize a maximal or a submaximal stimulus rather than a threshold stimulus or a supramaximal stimulus. Now, the dissecting instruments are required for performing the experiment to dissect out the amphibian nerve muscle preparation. Most of the times, gastrocnemius muscles sciatic nerve preparation is used. Amphibian ringer solution uh, is utilized so as to prevent the nerve muscle preparation from drying up. Once the nerve muscle preparation has been isolated from the frog, this preparation is mounted on to the myograph board and pinned up there. After mounting and pinning of the uh, preparation, a thread is tied around the nerve muscle preparation and it is attached to the isotonic muscle lever. The isotonic muscle lever is kept in an after loaded position. After loaded position uh, is created by uh, making the screws of the isotonic muscle lever to touch the fulcrum so as to uh, allow the entire weight of the lever to be supported onto the screws. So this after loaded position is important because it prevents any overstretching and any fatigue in the muscle. So we have to keep in mind that the after loaded position is to be kept uh, when we are performing the experiment. Chymograph with drum is also utilized because we are using drum in circuit in this experiment. Drum in circuit in, uh, uh, in this experiment means that uh, the primary terminals of the student stimulator are connected to the contact uh, buttons of the chymograph. The pulse drum switch is kept on pulse and the frequency is kept at the lowest uh, level that is the drum in frequency. So these are the settings for the drum and circuit for this experiment. Tuning fork is utilized to maintain a tra trace of timings and the tuning fork is provided with a pointer on one side and 100 hertz of frequency is used. Uh, wherein the uh, difference between the two crests or between the two troughs is 0 0.01 second. Other things are the thread, pins and of course the weight. Uh, about 10 gram or lowest level of weight is suspended from the isotonic muscle lever so as to prevent any overshooting of the lever when, when the recording is performed. Now, after the setting of the entire uh, experimental setup, we will switch on the current and with the, the stimulator, we will stimulate uh, the nerve muscle preparation towards uh, the nerve. When the nerve will be stimulated, we will record a response which is known as simple muscle twitch. This slide is showing us the simple muscle twitch record wherein we can see a, a graph, a baseline and a time tracing. Now, uh, first let me talk about uh, the point A which is known as PS or the point of stimulus. The point of stimulus marks uh, the point from where we can calculate the time durations of the various other periods. AB refers to the latent period, BC is the contraction period and CD is the relaxation period. Latent period is shortest followed by the contraction period and then the relaxation period. After this the curve uh, ends with some small sine waves which are known as the physiological curve and it is produced because of the inertia of the lever. Below we can see time tracing 
uh, which is uh, taken with the help of a tuning fork. So this simple muscle twitch graph shows us the various phases that is the contraction phase and the relaxation phase during the mechanical contraction of the muscle and it helps us to read various properties of skeletal muscle which include excitability, contractility, elasticity as well as tonicity. Now, something to note about latent period. What is actually latent period? Latent period is the time duration uh, between the uh, point when the nerve is stimulated till we achieve a mechanical response that is the contraction. So that means the time period between the uh, point of stimulus and the first appearance of the muscle contraction curve is known as the latent period. Why this latent period arises? The latent period arises because the stimulus has to travel the entire length of the nerve. So first of all time is required for this conduction of nerve impulse followed by transmission of this nerve impulse across the neuromuscular junction. Then for uh, phenomena excitation contraction coupling where, wherein the excitation process brings about the uh, physiological features of contraction within a skeletal muscle followed by stretching of the various elastic elements and finally to the process of muscle contraction. Along with this certain inertia of the recording lever is also responsible to add in to the time of the latent period. So this latent period comes out to be 0.01 second. On the other hand the physiological curve which is obtained after skeletal muscle twitch is due to the inertia of the lever and the normal duration of this uh, is about 10 milliseconds. Now uh, moving on to certain key points of this experiment, drum and circuit is used, muscle is kept in after loaded position. We obtain a baseline just by rotating the drum at fastest speed of 640 millimeters per second. Time tracing is done with the help of a vibrating tuning fork. Point of stimulus is important to remember that it is marked manually. We don't mark point of stimulus by switching on the uh, motor. We mark it manually by rotating the drum to a point when uh, the striker of the chymograph comes just in contact with the contact knob. That point where the striker just touches the contact knob, at that point we manually lift up the uh, lever of the isotonic muscle lever uh, uh, and we mark the point of stimulus manually. Uh, physiological curve is obtained due to the inertia of the lever. So these are certain key points which are related to this particular experiment. Now basically if we compare the skeletal muscle twitch and the action potential on the same time graph we can see that uh, muscle action potential which is a mechanical phenomena follows the electrical phenomena which is the action potential generation in a nerve. So a nerve action potential generation followed by action potential generation in a muscle will be followed by action potentials uh, contraction phenomena which is the mechanical phenomena. So electrical phenomena is the action potential in the muscle followed by a mechanical phenomena which is the contraction phenomena which, uh, uh, which is a graph obtained in our experiment. So muscle action potential graph can be plotted in the same timeline and it will fall before the contraction phase begins. So we can say that uh, about which starts 2 milliseconds after the start of the depolarization of the membrane and it starts before the repolarization is complete. Just dividing the phases into a contraction phase, relaxation phase and finally the end of the mechanical phenomena. So I think the simple muscle twitch in amphibian 
nerve muscle experiment is clear to you with this uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.